Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from Holsinger's Fly Shop. Today we're going to tie probably the simplest fly there is to tie, the green weenie. Um, this is total beginner's fly here. This is done for my gang at the Spring Cove Middle School Fishing Club. Um, not many materials in this. We're just using a size 12 Daiichi 1560 nymph hook, wet nymph hook. Some chartreuse chenille and green thread, olive thread. That's all that's to this fly. Very simple. Um, the key to starting any fly, we're gonna lay our line, we're gonna lay our string down on top of the hook, put a couple wraps around your hook, and then we're gonna wrap back over top of that. This is how you get your fly started, okay? You start every fly the same, wrapping your string on your thread, and that's the way you get it started. That ties it down. You can see it's not going anywhere. Okay, we're gonna cut our tag end off. I'm going to wrap this back to the bend of the hook. Start. We're going to start our fly right here, right at the top of the bend of the hook. Now, this is our chenille, it's our truth color. We're just going to lay it on top. We're going to lay it on top, and you're going to give a little bit of body. We're going to use this to make a little bit of the body of the fly here. We're just going to wrap it down a couple loose laps, wraps, sorry. And then we're going to pull it tighter to secure it into place. We want it to sit right on top of the hook like that. We're going to work it up the front, then we're going to work it back. Trying to make it nice and even wrap. We're going to get right back to where we stopped the, the string the first time, right at that bend of that hook. Okay, just going to put a little bit more on there. Work back to that bend. Now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take and we're going to bend this and we're going to make a loop on the back, okay? You want your loop on this to be about the same size as your hook gap. So we're going to sit that on top. Soft loop, pull it down tight. Secure it into place, make sure it stays right on top where you want it. Put a couple wraps around there. We're going to pull your chenille back out of the way. We're going to wrap this up to the head then. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to wrap our chenille on. Okay, and an easy way to do this, once you get on, the first couple wraps is going to be pretty easy. Once this gets a little bit shorter, it's going to be hard to keep it on top. And that goes for any kind of material you're wrapping like this. So what I tend to do is I'll, when I pull it over, I'll stick my finger on top of it to hold it in place so I can switch under the hook and I just keep doing that the whole way up this is the easiest way if you try to switch it under under the shank or whatever a lot of times it'll pop out of your hands and you'll lose it and you'll have to rewrap it all again so that's the easiest way now we're gonna wrap it right up to the eye we're gonna stop whoop see there you let go and it unwinds you're gonna stop right in front of the eye and we're gonna tie this off couple wraps over top of it, a couple in front of it. Just get it good and tied down here. Okay, then we're going to come in and we're going to cut this chenille tag off. Okay, and we're going to make a nice little even head on top here. Nice little round head. Now this is a fly, I'm going to be honest, I haven't fished it. I know a lot of guys fish it and a lot of guys catch fish on it. Just something I've never tried. It's the ultimate beginner's fly. You should know how to tie it. You should have it in your box. If you can't catch anything else, they say this is the fly to go to. Next we're going to use our whip finisher. I'm going to show you how to use this real quick. We're going to, This top loop, we're going to stick our thread in the top loop first. And then we're going to put it around the bottom one. So we're going to hook it on the top one. Oops. Hook it on the top one. And we're gonna wrap it around the bottom one, okay? Then we're gonna bring it up on top. And you'll see here I made a triangle with it, okay? You see that comes off of your hook, around that open loop, around the back one, and we're going in front of the thread, okay? 
Now we're gonna take our thread on our bobbin, and we're gonna lay that right on top of our hook shank, and we're just gonna start wrapping this around. You wanna do about five wraps around, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this, you're gonna bring this top loop, the, the closed loop, you're gonna bring it down towards the eye, pop your thread out of there, pull that in, and you're done. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time real quickly. You're gonna hook it on your thread, we're gonna bring it up top, make that triangle, lay our thread down across our fly, do about five or six turns, and then we're gonna bring that closed loop down towards the eye to pop the thread out and pull it down tight. Very, very simple fly, hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember, you can get all this stuff you need to tie this fly and many other flies on our website, wholesignersflyshop.com. Thanks again for watching.